This is Arun Singh and as expected, the Oscars Red Carpet 2023, actually, should we say the champagne colored carpet, was a spectacular affair. The champagne carpet is reminiscent of a golden hour at the beach while sipping a glass of bubbly. That was the inspiration behind the switch from red to champagne, by the way. Hollywood's biggest names hit the jackpot yet again with their dazzling ensemble and we have Sabrina Matthews. <laughs> any TV sources, in-house fashion expert to tell us what's hot and what's not on the champagne carpet. Well, yes, thank you so much, Arun. Hollywood's big night, of course, but also a huge night for fashion. You see, trends of the season are often fresh off the runway on the Oscars wet carpet, or rather, the champagne carpet this time. So here are some miles. Deepika Padukone was our big Desi Oscar moment, of course, but before we get to her outfit of the night, let's go through some other looks. We saw a lot of texture tuxes and bow ties. We also spotted pretty pastels on Halle Berry and Hong Chao, and disco gowns like Eva Longoria's and Ariana DeBose's. Malala Yousafzai dazzled in silver, and Cara Delevingne was gorgeous in red. Everything Everywhere All at Once star Michelle Yeoh was resplendent in chic white Dior. Representing India in the lineup of presenters was our very own Deepika Padukone, who introduced the Natu Natu performance. She brought back old world Hollywood charm in a stunning off shoulder black velvet Louis Vuitton gown, to nobody's surprise. Oscars 2023 saw some remarkable trends in men's fashion. Many colors and silhouettes made their way to the champagne carpet, proving that there is always room to experiment even when it comes to men's formals. Harry Sham Jr. was undeniably one of the best dressed men of the night as he pushed the boundaries in a white and contrasting dark blue tuxedo, complete with a wraparound waist belt. Austin Butler, the star of Elvis, looked dashing in his structured tuxedo from YSL. RRR's hit dancing duo Ram Charan and Junior NTR twinned in suave black bangalas. Ram Charan picked Shantanu and Nikhil, and Junior NTR went for a Gaurav Gupta creation. Some of music's biggest names also stood out on the red carpet. One of the big nominees in the original soundtrack category, Rihanna looked stunning in a cutout gown from Maison Alaya that celebrated her baby bump. Lady Gaga, one of the nominees for Best Original Song, was seen in a lavish black gown from Versace with a mesh bodice. Sabrina, you've gone through the list of all the hits from the red carpet this year, but what were some of the misses according to you? Well, Every award night has its hits and misses, right? A gown that looks flattering in pictures may not necessarily be a win on the red carpet. Here are a few that were less than impressive this year. You know, like uh, Sandra O's Gian Battista Wali gown and Zoe Saldana's white Fendi number. You know, even though ruffles rule the Oscars this season, Florence Pugh's over-the-top ruffles with a black mini skirt underlay was a miss. Okay, and do you think any of these looks tonight have the potential to become iconic and stand the test of time? Well, Oscars night is always big on the year's fashion trends, right? This year, Nobel-winning activist Malala Yousafzai made a smashing debut in a sequin silver hooded Ralph Lauren gown. We also have Rihanna's cut-out gown. An ode to maternity fashion on such a big stage, we would say both women made it to the list of iconic Oscar looks along with Natalie Portman's Women Empowered Dior gown of 2020 or even Celine Dion's white pants suit worn backwards in 1999 among others. Okay, thank you so very much for all these inputs. With that, we've come to an end of this video. Thanks for watching this one. This is Arun Singh and Sabrina Matthews signing off for NDTV Swirlster. <laughs>